Welcome to the channel. Today we will continue the discussion on Adobe Acrobat PDF. The 3D objects are wonderful features sometimes you will find in a PDF file. But sometimes when you receive an email from someone with a 3D PDF and uh, when you open it up, all you really see is just a blank screen. And you might be wondering what is going on. What do you need to do is open the attachment in PDF reader. And then you will see the message on top saying multimedia and 3D content has been disabled. If you want to enable the feature, you can click on options. There are two options. One is to trust the document one time only. But if you don't want to deal with it next time, you can just click on trust this document always. After that, you will also have to check, click on the question mark in order to display the model. Of course, for future purpose, we can just simplify this procedure by going to edit menu and click on preferences. Under multimedia in the 3D, all we have to do is just enable playing of the multimedia industry content. So the next time you don't have to repeat the same step. Now we're going to look at the 3D model in PDF. You will see a toolbar on the top. On the left side, uh, one thing to remember is there is a host button. Whenever you click a host, it will always go back to the original view. So the first button will be rotate. Uh, the second is spin, and then there is pan and uh, zoom. Right. Having said that, right, all you have to do is just really just control your mouse, not necessarily using the toolbar button. Right? Yeah, pan to move those things uh, around. It, whenever it's off the map, you can always go to the house button and it will bring you back to the original place. There's also something really interesting. It's called a 3D measurement tool where you could actually click two points in the model uh, and see the distances. One more thing about uh, the left side of the toolbar is uh, the 3D comment. Uh, if I click on that and then Let's say if I want to click on the wall and by default, the comment will be the coordinates of my point. But let's say I want to put in something, for example, brick is not available. Now I have a 3D comments right, for this model where I can share that with my client or the designer or the subtrade. Next, we are going to look at the most interesting thing in 3D PDF, which is the model tree. If I click on that, then I will see a list of objects. What's interesting is if I uncheck some of the items on the left side, then those objects now will not be visible. Instead, what is showing will be the interior construction of the model. Although our model doesn't have animation currently, but at least we could look at uh, some of the rendering we have. Uh, two things I really like is uh, transparent views. Where you can see uh, how the model changes for the rendering. 
The other visual effect would be white frame, where you see the skeleton of the model. If you also want to see some of the illustration, you can see how that changes. There are a couple of other features. If you find that the model was too dark, you can go to lights menu, where I could pick a light setting. Uh, if you want to add some background color, for example, if I want a blue sky, this is what I got. The last thing I want to demonstrate is the cross section. From this one, we make a cut through the building vertically where you can see what was inside. 